Hey y'all, Kitchen Trap Queen here with the sun-dried tomato and spinach tortellini shrimp pasta. Y'all, this title gonna be long as hell, but the recipe is just as good. Let's get started. So I'm gonna start off with my shrimp. What I have here is some raw shrimp with the tail still attached. And I'm just gonna season it with some onion powder, some salt, pepper, Italian seasoning, and a little bit of paprika for some color. I'm gonna apologize now, I do not have the actual measurements for the seasonings. Y'all, I was just inspired by Chef Risha on Instagram and I just threw this together. So um, hopefully you can learn and just keep watching, but the seasonings, y'all, is gonna be up to you and your ancestors, okay? So um, I'm just gonna take all of those ingredients, mix them in a bowl and just set that to the side. So these are the refrigerated tortellini that I'm using, y'all. This brand is bomb. Um, since they're already pretty much done, you don't have to cook them that long. So in a boiling pot of salt water, I'm going to just add these to the water and we're gonna let them boil for about two to four minutes. I really didn't let my tortellini come back up to a boil. I just let them cook for about three minutes in that water and I just drained them and put them to the side. And in that same pot, I'm gonna add in some olive oil and some butter. And we're going to add in our spinach and some garlic. I used a six ounce bag of fresh spinach and about a tablespoon of garlic. And we all know this big old bag is gonna cook down to nothing. So if you want more spinach, add two bags. But y'all know spinach pretty much is non-existent when you cook it. And I did season my spinach with some salt, pepper, and some Italian seasoning. My bad, and some red chili pepper flakes. Next, I added in some sun-dried tomatoes. These are the sun-dried tomatoes that are packaged in oil. I believe I added about a total of six ounces. Next, I'm adding in some heavy whipping cream. I believe I added about two cups of this to this recipe. Next, I'm adding in some Parmesan. I brought back my Sargento, y'all. It was finally on sale. Um, so we're adding in some refrigerated Parmesan and some fresh basil. And you're just gonna give this a stir, y'all. This really didn't take that long to make. Um, I wanna say maybe about 10 to 15 minutes tops, but as y'all know, I'm recording, so it took a little longer. And then I'm just going back in with some Italian seasoning, and I believe I added in some garlic powder but once again y'all i threw this recipe together i was inspired so i will try to duplicate those measurements in the description bar below or box below i did turn my heat down to low once i added my pasta back in and just give that a toss and adjust your seasonings if you need more salt if you need more pepper garlic powder whatever now is the time to do that and i did see it was a little dry well i want to say dry but i added in a little bit more cream so like i said in total i put two cups of heavy whipping cream in this um, recipe This is totally optional. I added in about a fourth a cup of water um, because I was planning on putting this whole pot into a huge baking dish and letting it bake for about 10 to 15 minutes, but I ended up just putting it under the broiler. So if you're gonna put it under the broiler, I would leave out that fourth cup of water. 
as you can see i'm adding in some garlic powder and that's pretty much it for the pasta part now we're gonna move on to our shrimp now on medium high heat we're going to saute our shrimp in that sun-dried tomato oil Once they've cooked for about three to five minutes on one side, you're just gonna flip them over and cook the other side. Look at that crust, so good. Once your shrimp are done, they should look similar to this. Go ahead and remove them from the heat. Now I took my handy dandy, uh, cast iron skillet and i added my pasta to it you don't have to do this step guys you can just dump that shrimp in the pasta and eat it but y'all know i'm extra so i gotta bake it a little bit or broil it so what i'm doing here is i'm adding on some parmesan cheese and i put this in the oven under broil for about five minutes and then i added on my shrimp I did top it with some Parmesan and some fresh basil and I did put it back under broil for about a minute and y'all that was it um this was good once again I threw this together I will try to put the actual quantities for all of my ingredients in the description box below um, make sure you guys like share subscribe and comment I want to see y'all's comments and I will see y'all in the next video